In today's session, I'll be using this setup to explain terminal PD or terminal potential difference, EMF, and finally introduce to you internal resistance. Coming up. Now, if we are to look at this setup, we are having a circuit right here. We are having two cells, um, a rheostat and an ammeter. Across the cell, we have a voltmeter connected. And definitely, this voltmeter is meant to give us the potential difference across the terminals of his cell. Right here, we have a PD current graph, and we are seeing that it's even having a negative gradient. Now, what am I trying to present here? When we are when we regulate this rheostat or this variable resistor, we regulate the amount of current flowing through this circuit. So we, when we regulate this rheostat, for every amount of current we are able to to attain, we measure off the voltage so we were able to regulate this real start to get different amounts of current and different corresponding voltages and that's how we're able to plot this graph now from this graph we're able to see that the potential difference across the terminals of a cell keeps varying and is not constant depending on the amount of current that is being drawn out so if we were to look at this point for example this is the amount of current being drawn out and we are seeing that as the amount of current here being drawn out it is having a corresponding potential difference to it so as you increase the amount of current that you're drawing out of this cell the more you increase it then the potential difference also drops when i increase the amount of current being drawn up the potential difference keeps dropping so the more the current that is being drawn out of this cell the potential difference across that cell keeps dropping. If I may state it differently, I may say that when current flows out and the rheostat here is adjusted, it will have different readings for different values of current. Now this means that the potential difference across the terminals of a cell is not constant, but it is going to depend on how much current is drawn out of the cell. Now, this potential difference across the terminals of this cell is when this current is being drawn out is what we are calling terminal potential difference. So by definition, you can say that terminal potential difference is the potential difference across the terminals of a cell when current is being drawn out. And when, we, and when current is being drawn out of a cell, it means that cell is in a closed circuit. So we can as well say that terminal potential difference is the amount of potential difference or it is the PD across the terminals of a cell in a closed circuit. So now, if you look at this graph, you realize that there is a certain amount of potential difference when the current is zero. Of course, when the current is zero, the potential difference across the terminals of the cell where no current is being drawn out has got a special name. And we are also able to see that when no current is being drawn out of the cell, the potential difference across those terminals of the cell is actually maximum. It is highest at that point. So this kind of potential difference across the terminals of the cell, when no current is being drawn out, is what we are calling the EMF of the cell, or call it the electromotive force. So if I may state it differently, this is what I could say that the potential difference across the terminals of a dry cell will be maximum when no current is being drawn out. And this kind of potential difference is what we refer to as the EMF of a cell. If I may simplify it further, I will say that in the potential difference across the terminals of a battery or of a cell, when no current is being drawn out of a cell is what we call EMF. So, in case you are required to define what EMF is, this is what you should simply say. Uh, you can say that the EMF is simply the potential difference across the terminals of a cell when no current is being drawn out. You can also say that it is the voltage across the terminals of the cell on an open circuit. Now, when an open circuit, we mean when no current is being drawn out of a cell, it means that cell is on an open circuit. That diagram shows you this cell is in an open circuit, no current is being drawn out of it. So the potential difference across it is what we are calling EMF. When current is being drawn out of the cell, that 
cell is in a closed circuit. Now alternatively we said that electricity is the flow of charge and this flow of charge is because coulombs are moving from one point of lower potential to a higher potential. So when we look at that in a cell, charge will flow from one end of a battery to another and in so doing work is being done. Therefore we can also define EMF as also being defined as the work done in moving a charge of one coulomb throughout the battery. Speaking of this coulomb of charge that is going through the cell of a battery, we have what we call internal resistance of that cell. Of this, Every cell has got a certain level of internal resistance. Now the chemicals within the cell over a certain kind of resistance to current flow. This resistance is called internal resistance of the cell. Much as you may be having resistors in the external circuit, even in the cell inside there is resistance. So the internal resistance of a cell, we treat it as though it is like another resistor inside the cell. So if this is the cell, we will be treating it as a resistor inside the cell. So in short, we can say you should just picture it as though it is a cell inside the cell. There is another resistor inside and this resistor is always in series with the other resistors in the external circuit. So to give a recap, what is terminal potential difference or terminal PD? Terminal PD is the potential difference across the terminals of the cell when current is being drawn out or you can call it the potential difference across the terminals of a cell in a closed circuit. Internal resistance is the opposition to flow of current inside the cell due to the chemical reactions inside it. EMF or electromotive force is simply the potential difference across the terminals of the cell on an open circuit or it is the PD across the terminals of a cell when no current is being drawn out of the cell. Previously we've been calculating voltage, current and resistance of the cell while ignoring the internal resistance. We've been taking the internal resistance to be negligible. But if the internal resistance is not to be ignored, it means that we are going to, call, to treat this resistor as if it is a cell that is in series with the rest of the resistors in the circuit. So if this, let's say this is capital R, that's the resistor. We all know that to get the total PD in the whole circuit, which is, we know that PDV is going to be equal to I times R. Total potential difference is going to be I times R. But then we know that the potential difference across the terminals of a cell on an open circuit, which, which is the source of the PD in the whole circuit, V, is what we are calling the EMF. We said EMF is the potential difference across the cells when no current is going out of it. And we all know that it is the cell that is the source of the potential difference in the whole circuit. So this potential difference across the terminals of the cell, the source, when there is no PD, is what we're calling E, is going to be equal to the current flowing through the circuit, which is capital I, times resistance. Now, remember now when it comes to resistance, before when we were not considering the internal resistance, we were just looking at are the resistance in the circuit. So meaning that if you're having whatever like resistors in series or parallel, all you had to do was to just simply get the effective resistance and you would calculate it. But now when we are talking about the internal resistance, it means that now we have a new resistance in question. Let's if we are to call internal resistance R, this is our effective resistance, it would mean that it's going to be capital I, which is the current times R, which is the effective resistance outside the circuit, plus that internal resistance, R. So we treat this resistance as though it is in series with the external res effective resistance of the circuit. And so this mark becomes our equation for EMF. So our equation for EMF is that uh, electromotive force, which is the total PD in the whole circuit, is going to be equal to the current flowing through that is the current supplied by the cell times the resistance, the total resistance in the circuit and the total resistance in the circuit comprises of the resistance of the other resistors in the circuit, the effective resistance, plus the resistor that is inside the cell or called it the internal resistance. We are going to, we add R plus R, we add it like this because the internal resistance and the effective resistance outside the circuit are in series. If we have to open these brackets, it simply comes to be 
electromotive force is going to be equal to the potential difference across the external circuit and this is what we are calling the terminal PD plus the potential difference across the internal resistance. Now